y'all it's your girl ducky back with another video and today i'm going to be showing you how i achieved these shoulder length blunt cut butterfly locks so if you would like to see how i achieve this style stay tuned because we're about to get right into it so i ordered my hair from amazon it is dorsani passion twist hair it came like this well it came in a box but it came like this but I will put the color um, number on the screen. And it came with a crochet hook. I didn't know that it came with a crochet hook because it didn't say that in the details. So I ended up ordering a crochet pack of two. So like four bucks, I think. And it came with some beads that I'm probably not going to use. And there's seven packs of hair in there. This is what it looks like. This is cute. And then I also have this Cuban hair, it's in the same color T27, and this African braid hair, it's also in the same color T27. I got these from my aunt, um, she does hair, she gave me the, some leftover hair. The reason I'm gonna use this Cuban hair and this African hair is to use as little as the passion twist hair as possible. Also, um, my natural hair color is brown, so like 1B, and my tips are orange, so I wanna be able to conceal as much of my natural hair color without overusing the passion twist hair. So. Yesterday, um, I washed my hair, conditioned my hair, all of that, and I sectioned my hair already. So my hair is already sectioned and it is braided at the root and twisted on the ends. And the reason, I did gave myself a middle part and two side parts. The reason I braided it at the root and twisted it on the ends is because I don't need the ends to be secure. I just needed my roots to be secure. I used jam to um, tighten up the roots and also, I usually, when I braid my hair, I braid my um, my baby hair's edges, whatever you wanna call them, I braid them into my hair. Um, because to me, it just gives like a cleaner look and it makes the hair last longer, in my opinion. Like, it makes the style look like it's lasting longer. Um, but I ended up leaving them out this time because I just wanted to try something different. First, I'm gonna start by crocheting the Cuban hair and the African braid hair in my hair so that I can have that as like my base. I have a mirror right here, so I'm gonna be looking right here majority of the time, but when I'm ready to show you stuff, I'm gonna come on into the camera so you can see. But I'm gonna go ahead and just put my hair in a ponytail. I've watched a couple of videos before doing this style because I've never done this before. Um, and I watched a couple of videos and I will link the videos that I watched in the description box because I feel like they helped me to be able to get this style the way that I want the style. And I don't remember the girl's name um, on YouTube, but she's a beast. I think her name is like Queen's Lounge, or that's her YouTube tag. So this is how the hair is looking out of the plastic. I don't know if it's giving you the right color that it is in real life. I'm gonna put it up on my skin, I guess so you can kind of see. But this is T27, and this is, um, I think this is 18 inch hair, but it stretches all the way to 22 or something like that, or 24. It stretches past 18 inches. All right, this is the T27 Cuban hair. Okay, y'all, so, so far I have done the back of my head. I'm gonna just show you. This is what I've done so far. And honestly, I like it. The color is different for me because I've only ever been platinum blonde. I've never been this blonde. I've only had these highlights before. So this color is different for me for my whole head to be this way, but I honestly think it's cute. And so now I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. I take some of the Cuban hair. I've already sectioned it out. So I take some of the Cuban hair and I take the crochet hook. Let me just tuck this for right now. There's a latch right here. This latch comes down. See how it's up? It comes down like this to go into your hair. You take the latch and you stick it through your hair, hook facing outward. So like this, and then the, now it's in my hair. Right. I only crochet a small piece through, so I don't have to pull this whole thing through. So I take the hair and I put it on my finger like this. Then I take my thumb and I wrap it like this. When I hook it, my hands are in a position to just latch right on. And I close the hook or the whatever the latch and then I just pull it right through then I take the crochet needle out and then I just pull it through evenly so this helps with blending my hair with the this color hair because obviously my hair is not this color um, and it helps with me not having to use so much passion twist hair so I already have my hair um, sectioned and divided out but I'm gonna show you how to separate the passion twist hair so it comes like this 
and what I've seen in, in videos is girls just pulling it apart and when you pull it apart like that it creates a lot of knots so I separate the ends first like this just um, drag my fingers down it like this to kind of give it some frizz and then I take the middle part and pull it apart and so that's literally all you do to fluff it it was one strand and then I take another strand so in total two strands to t um, twist my hair so I'm doing the same thing as before so this was one one strand and this is another strand so in total we have two strands but and separated it's four pieces if that makes sense so I take the four pieces or the two strands of passion twist hair and I do the same thing so I only want to take a small piece through so I don't have to worry about pulling a whole other side of the passion twist through and then getting tangled so I do the same thing I just hook it around my thumb like that so all I'm doing is this so here's my pointer finger take my thumb bring it up and just hold it like that I take my crochet needle again the same way put it through the hair make sure it's all the way through with the latch still down and you're gonna crochet the hair through and see how I only had to pull that small section through I didn't have to worry about pulling an entire piece through now here's the part where videos were getting a little confusing for me because I couldn't see why they were like doing this so depending on how long your butterfly locks are so mine are shoulder length or they're kind of like a little past shoulder length you have two sections right so you're going to take this section that you're going to be holding and measure it to the length that you want your lock so i'm going to measure it to literally where this lock is a little bit past just in case i need to um, twist down a little bit further but just about that general area and it doesn't matter if you go past it because you can always cut it so you take the your hair you take the cuban hair and you take the hair that you shortened when i section my hair i didn't braid my braid super tight because i didn't know how much tension the locks were going to bring onto my hair after wrapping my hair and i'm glad i did it that way because i can always tighten my roots and this is how i do it so i just move this section to the side and i take my hair along with the cuban hair and the hair that we measured and just twist it so it tightens up my roots so i don't have to worry about my roots looking loose when i just got my hair done or i just did my hair and then i take this longer side and i don't always twist the same way sometimes i twist clockwise sometimes i twist counterclockwise it just depends on what side of my hair i'm on i twist at the root about three or four times so that was one just to really tighten and secure the lock that was two and that's three and i'm gonna do it one more time i hope y'all can see this i mean i'm looking at it but like now you've secured your lock i'm gonna loosen up and this is how i do my butterfly locks i know a lot of people are like oh just do it loose if you don't know how to do the thumb part but i've been using my thumb and my pointer finger it just depends on the position that i'm that i'm in in my head and it depends on which way i'm twisting my hair so with this lock i'm gonna use my pointer finger because i think that's what's gonna be easier so now i'm gonna start loosening it up literally just pull it over and as i pull it over I stick my pointer finger through, take the hair and wrap over that loop twice. So that was one and that's two. Okay. And then I pull my finger out and then I wrap under the loop one time though, because the way I like to do my butterfly locks is I like to have as many loops as possible because I just think that makes the style cuter when you have more loops. So you only wrap under the loop one time because the next time that you pull a loop out you're going to wrap two times in between that so i'm going to explain it so here's another loop i'm going to take my hair and wrap above that loop one time one and one more two then i'm going to take my finger out and i'm going to wrap under the loop one time so that's one and then i'm going to start another loop so you don't have to wrap before a loop two times and after a loop two times because you're going to wrap two times when you start the next loop i hope it's making sense but yeah so that's one two actually that might have been two but that's okay and then you wrap under one and then you two
with the bottom half of my hair it took one of these so it was two strands separated into four so it only took one of these to complete a lock but now that we're at the top of my hair and it takes more to bring the hair to the same length I have to use two of these so instead of using one for the back sections I use two so it's two separated strands which is four and two separated strands which is four which equals eight separated strands in total but it's four of these if that makes sense so instead of using one of these I use two of these so that the the locks on the top of my head are the same length as the locks on the bottom of my head and the way that I add the hair back into the lock because as you can see I finished it and this hair does not unravel like I literally just wrapped it and palm rolled it I take one end of the hair and I take the lock you see how my hair is still sticking out so I take it and I start adding it where the hair started thinning out so right here put it up against my and grab the end so now I'm going to wrap above where my hand is so that it can secure the hair into place and I'm just gonna do the same loop pattern that I was doing before but before I do the loops I'm gonna just secure it lightly into my hair now that it's secure I'm going to loop and this hair can get tangled as you're doing it but honestly there's no need in um, trying to sit and comb it out because this is a messy hairstyle so it's it's not gonna be the end of the world if your hair you see how it's kind of getting tangled it's not gonna be the end of the world if the hair starts getting tangled like literally it'll be fine I've been doing this for about three hours now and I haven't been detangling the hair as I've wrapped so it's not a huge deal if you don't and I kind of feel like if you do detangle the hair you'll lose hair as you go and you'll it'll cost you more hair And so now I'm coming to the length that I want it to be. So I just want to, I'm just going to take a lock that's already twisted and measure it to make sure that it's at the same length. So what I do is, and this is another thing that the videos I was watching wasn't making very clear. I'm going to take the hair that I was wrapping with and put it in the hand that's holding the base of my hair. And I'm going to take that hair and put it over here. And so now the hair that you were wrapping with is now your base. And this is what helps seal the lock. So you take the, what was your base? and you just kind of separate it um, about that much is fine and you just start to wrap back upwards above the hair and you can do loops if you want but it really doesn't matter because this small amount of hair that you're wrapping at a time is not going to cover your your entire lock and it's not going to cover the loops that you already made so I'm going to do the same thing and you can tell which one is your base and which one is the one you were wrapping with because your base is always going to be shorter than the hair that you were wrapping with. So I'm going to take some more hair from my base again and just wrap that up my lock. And as I finish a wrap, I just kind of palm roll it to secure it into place like that. And then I'm going to take this last little bit and wrap that upward. And then I just palm roll. Then you can see I have some hair left over. So, and the hair doesn't go to waste. So when I have hair left over, I always add it to another lock so that I'm not wasting stretched hair. So I'm just gonna take my scissors and feather it out so it's not a blunt cut and it blends into the lock nicely. So I'm gonna take about like an inch and I'm gonna take my scissors and just feather it. And this gives an uneven cut so it's not blunt. And it blends with the lock. I'm just gonna take this and wrap it upward. Same way I did with the last um, few pieces. Just twist it, I mean, palm roll it in my hand, and that is the lock. Also, another thing that I have noticed is with locks that are 1B or 1 or black, it's easier to I think you would go faster in wrapping because you don't have to worry about covering your hair so much as with this one I kind of have to sometimes go back and patch up an area that might have my hair showing like for example there's a lock in here that I know I have to patch up so this one right here and it's in the back of my head so I couldn't really see what I was doing back there but I'm just gonna take some hair and I actually use the hair that I cut off I'm gonna show you how I do it so I take this hair extra hair I'm gonna take the lock and the same way I added hair to the lock before I'm gonna do that again but I'm going to add it where I think I need to start 
adding hair so and I'm not gonna um, loop this hair because this is for security so I don't want to add any extra looseness to it um, when I'm trying to secure the hair in place and it's covered good as new boy all right so i'm gonna finish the rest of my hair and then i'm gonna come back to y'all okay so now that i'm officially done styling my hair I'm going to um, steam it so I'm going to basically boil some water put a towel in the water and then take the, the towel out and then use the steam from the towel to steam my hair so that it's not as stiff it's not stiff as you can see but I just want them to kind of bend a little bit more than they already are All right, you guys, so it's the next day, and basically all I did was wrap my hair up, put it in a bonnet, and go to sleep. Um, and then I woke up, and here I am. Honestly, like, I loved this. I love the style. I love the way it came out. I love the length. I love the bluntness of it. I think it, it took me, like, four minutes per braid, and I have about, like, 38, or lock, and I have about, like, 38 locks in my hair, so it was, like, three and a half hours. But in total, it was probably, like, four, because I kept, like, touching up and like doing different stuff so it took me about four hours to do this style and it was very easy it's beginner friendly because you're literally just wrapping and it's easy to do this style because you don't have to worry about messing up because it's a messy style so as far as the hair is concerned I used five and a half packs of the passion twist hair and I have this much left of the Cuban hair so I didn't even use all of the Cuban hair um, I didn't have to and yeah, so I didn't use all of the Cuban the Cuban hair, and I have uh, one and a half bags of the Passion Twist hair left. Yeah, so I used five and a half bags. I used about like 11 strands out of the sixth pack, um, so I didn't use the full pack, but I was going back and like touching up and tightening and loosening, so I just kind of was like feeling it out and making the hair customizable to how I like it. That's one thing that I like about this hairstyle. It's very customizable. You can do it however you want to do it like you can make as many loops as you want you can make it as distressed as you want you can make it as long as you want you can make it as firm as you want like you can do whatever you want with this hairstyle so that's one thing that i really really like about it and yeah honestly i think i did a good job for my first time but that's pretty much it for me you guys um i really recommend this hairstyle especially if you just want to protective style your hair and you don't want to pay for the hundred dollars to get this look or three hundred dollars to get this look because i would never do that i i would never do that it never gave four hundred dollars like i would never do that um especially when i can do it myself yeah that's pretty much it for me if you guys enjoyed this video um and would like to see more more videos like this make sure you leave a comment and i will try out any style that I can do to my best ability um, make sure you like comment and subscribe stay tuned for more videos and that's it bye